Good morning, West Texas. Slam and Sammy Mead coming at you with Panther Football Radio. 470 AM on your dial. It's Monday morning, and we all know what that means. Only four days till Friday night, the night that our Dillon Panthers bring the hammer down on the Westerby Mustangs. Who wants to talk Panther football? I'm all ears. Hey, Sammy, this is Susan from South Bain. This new coach, uh, Coach Taylor, right? Eric Taylor, that's right. Well, he, he's got himself a lot of pressure right now, and there's he lots does. of expectations on him. And, and what the heck is going on there? He's got a news crew following him around every step of the preseason. Who does he think he is? Mac Brown? He's no Mac Brown, I'll tell you right now. Well, no, Susan, I don't think anybody is, but let me tell you something. He has stepped into the number one team in Texas. That's right. And he does have a news crew following him. I agree with you, and that's a lot of added pressure. That's but right. it's letting him know how important this football is to us here in Texas. Well, I want to add my voice. Okay, Grandma, I made you two tuna fish sandwiches, and I put your medicine in the green Gatorade, okay? The green Gatorade, but I only want one sandwich. Well, then just eat one. Well, but you made two, and I just want one. No, no, no. Uh, I'll eat the other one when I get home from practice, okay? You'll be hungry after that good old practice. Yeah. <laughs> you... I adore. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get me one of those signs that say Landry Clark, utterly useless. All State Jerk Team. Yeah, I'd probably be on that team too. True. Jason Street has a 72% pass completion rate. Not only is that number one in the state of Texas, that is number one nationally. This boy is. Are you even gonna play at all? Nope. Seriously, this is some kind of big misdirected daddy love me thing. Yeah. I can't keep driving to this practice and. Humiliation, it's not good for you to You're an insomniac. You're up anyway. I'm doing you a favor. You should be thanking me. No, that was me, man. That wasn't nice. Gotta get up, little brother. Probably 49 players right now up and at him. Right now. Just a minute. 49 players on the move. Right. Tim. They'll kick you off the team. Yeah. You're a brother, don't forget, not a mother. You ain't that good. Twice the player you ever was, man. <laughs> this is life. This isn't Maxim Magazine. What's that supposed to mean? Waste of time. All right. And no going out with Jason Street this evening. We're having a family dinner tonight. That means the entire family dinner together. Rally rehearsal tonight. She's gonna be rehearsing how far she'd get her tongue into Jason Street's mouth. Nip it. I love you, Daddy. Oh, love you too, babe. How you doing, Coach? Tommy Haskins. Tommy. NBC Sports. Well, yeah, how's it feel to be head coach after what? How many years? Six years it is. Got yourself a heck of a quarterback. He's a good boy. Very proud of him. Now, you two have been at this together for some time, right? Yes, sir. He was my coach all through Pee Wee, and Coach Taylor's been QB coaching me since uh, freshman and JV year, so it's been a while. So, Coach, is it a coincidence you finally get the head coaching job the final season of Jason's high school career? It is. It's a very fortunate coincidence. You, you got to feel blessed to spend your first year with a young man who's got the talent, the, the, the moral strength this young man right here has. Hey! We'd like to get you all on the field next Saturday up in South Bend. There are really no words to describe the experience. Sounds terrific. We're ready to get this thing done. I think we are, too. How good is he? Mr. Street, I've been scouting quarterbacks for Notre Dame for 27 years. Your son may be the best I have ever seen. We expect a lot of him, and uh, he produces, and uh, we're, we're very proud of him. We going undefeated, shattering records taking these high expectations to unimaginable new highs. State champions. What's after high school, Brian? Me and Mac Brown gonna get our win on in Pasadena. Get my national championship on, my Heisman on. It's known that a couple years ago, your father passed away, and he's not gonna be able to no, see look, you No, look, I don't play. talk about that, all right? You wanna ask me football questions, I answer you football questions. Okay. Let's shift gears a minute. There's been talk of racism around this squad. Have you experienced anything like that? I don't let that fade me. I just keep my blinders on and keep moving. I got things to do. That's not racism, man. I just don't like him. He could be from Saudi Arabia or, or Sweden or Czech. That dude could be Santa Claus, and I still won't like him. My name's Tim Riggins, and I play a uh, fullback. <laughs> 